Hello all and welcome to Music Minute, the hot theory guide to learn those extra concepts the right way. Brought to you by StephenJax.com. My name is Steve and today we're going to go over something you probably haven't heard of before. Heterophony. Was I right? So chances are you've heard of monophonic music or monophony, where there's one voice played at a time. You've also heard of polyphony, where there's many melodies playing at one time. And third, there's homophonic music, or homophony, where you have one melody played over a chordal structure. But really, there is a fourth one called heterophony, or heterophonic music, which incorporates all three ideas into one. Kind of. So let's recap. You have one melody is monophonic music. You have two or more melodies at one time, that's polyphonic music. And then you have one melody over a chordal structure, and that is called homophonic music. So, what does heterophony have to do with any of this stuff? Everything, and nothing, all at the same time. Here's how you make heterophonic music. First, you take one melody. Looks like monophonic music, right? Then you double the melody at a really constant interval. The fifth is really common. And voila, you have a heterophonic texture. As you can see, you got one main melody, two voices playing at the same time, and kind of the outline of a chordal structure anyway. Now, some of you might be saying that you use heterophonic music all the time because you sing in thirds, you double in sixes, whatever. I hate to break it to you, but you're not really using heterophonic music. Heterophonic music is where you use the same interval, not just thirds, but the major third or minor third. Here's a melody doubled in thirds. And here is a melody doubled in major thirds. Do you hear the difference? Don't get me wrong, I like doubling in thirds just fine, but that's not heterophonic music. So very common places that heterophonic music was used was in the church singing Gregorian chant kind of stuff. First you take your melody, and then you double it in a fifth, and you're ready to go. Here's what it sounds like. Also for those of you that are fans of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, do you remember the scene where the monks are walking through the village chanting and they're hitting themselves with the slates? That was heterophonic music. They were doubling at the fifth. Before I go, I'm going to give you one more example of a heterophonic melody played over a chordal structure. So you got kind of the heterophonic and homophonic thing going on at the same time. Enjoy. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Music Minute. If you have any comments or questions or you have an idea for a future episode, or if you like doubling at a different interval other than the fifth or the major third, you can let me know on Facebook, the comments below, or directly email me at my website, stevenjacks.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more Music Minutes. But before you go, I have to mention there is a new contest for November. This month, to honor the tradition of the holidays, I want you to write a folk song. Words are welcome, but not mandatory. If you do have words, please make them appropriate and also make them holiday related, okay? You can send me your submissions at my website, stephenjacks.com, and the deadline is the end of November. Submitted pieces will be compiled into a video and featured on my Music Minute channel. I look forward to seeing your skills being put to the test. Oh yeah, and I cut my hair. <laughs>